Ayutthaya, Thailand's old capital when it was known as the Kingdom of Siam, is a magical city that once flourished from the 14th to 18th century. Once known as one of the most beautiful places in the world, with some saying it was covered in gold, with time and the Burmese-Siamese War which ended in 1767, what remains is an archaeological gem holding remnants of Ayutthaya's thriving past. My first stop was Wat Mahat Hat, one of the most important temples located in the heart of Ayutthaya. It was destroyed in 1767, restored but collapsed again in the early 1900s. Only the base of the temple remains today. Right across the road is a cafe serving up drinks inspired by Ayutthaya's main delicacies. Next to Wat Mahat Hat stands Wat Rashaburana. The temple was built by King Zhao Sampraya to house the royal remains for his two brothers who passed away in battle over the then vacant throne. It is beautiful to visit both during the day and around sunset. Zhao Sampraya Museum is home to a collection of Ayutthaya's remaining artifacts discovered during restoration works of ancient temples. I recommend stopping by this place for lunch or coffee in the afternoon. The traditional interior and exterior of this place offers a quick getaway back in time. I also visited the Lat Gong Kong. Despite it being empty during these times, the market has a welcoming ambience with everything sold there, still made with love and care. Situated on what was previously a Japanese settlement during the times when Ayutthaya thrived, is a Japanese village. It was an eye-opening experience to learn about how much of an international hub this place was at the time. Wat Loka Yatsutta, translating to Temple of the Earth, houses a smiling reclining Buddha. Paputa Sayat. Being there just somehow gives me a sense of calm. Wat Prasi Sun Pit was known as the holiest and grandest temple in Ayutthaya prior to its fall. It was the temple which served as a model for the famous Wat Prakeo in Bangkok. I then visited Wat Putai Sawan. A stunning temple that was not destroyed and so remains almost fully intact. It was unreal how detailed and beautiful every corner of this place was. Wat Prangam, famous for its overgrown tree-covered entrance, nicknamed as the Door of Time. Nearby is a Thai restaurant surrounded by a lotus pond. Sadly, we found out that reservations are required and so we did not get to try it out. For those looking for local and spicy food, I recommend Banton Sai Restaurant, serving family-sized portions of all my favorite foods. Nearby is Wat Menang Bloom. This ancient and charming temple was not targeted, as it is located on the opposite side of Ayutthaya city walls. Wat Na Pramain, used as a base for the Burmese military, was intact from the destruction of the capital. I highly recommend visiting this place as it is unique and rich with history and also home to a 1,500-year-old Buddha image originating from Sri Lanka.
Wat Cheng Ta is a peaceful riverside temple with a teak wood hall. Inside, you can find paintings of what Ayutthaya was like before it fell into ruins. The final temple stop was Wat Chai Watana Ram, an ancient royal temple built by King Prasat Tong as a memorial to his mother. Historians believe the temple may have been used as a fortress for the Burmese military. The temple was looted and largely destroyed, but what remains is an impressive architectural structure that you have to see with your own eyes. You can also dress up in traditional Thai costumes while you are there. <laughs>